Hello, brothers and sisters. I want to share something in the hope study will provoke some questions, which will perhaps guide you to do your own study in a certain area. So I do pray that the Holy Spirit will bring understanding in all of this. I call this one the question, the big question, and I'll use illustrations to make it as clear as possible. Now, let's just say here is here is the Lord Jesus with his 12 disciples. Now, in Luke chapter 9, the Lord sent out the twelve, two by two, and instructed them to go and preach the gospel. The Lord sent out 70 more disciples, two by two, with the same instruction, to go and preach the gospel. And the question is this, what gospel did the Lord instruct the twelve and the seventy to go out there and preach? Now, before we answer the question too quickly... Let me just elaborate more on it. This happened uh, before uh, the cross. And what that means is this. They couldn't preach about his death. They couldn't preach about the blood. They couldn't preach about the resurrection. Remember, when the Lord talked about his death, uh, and this was in Luke chapter 9, verse 22, he commanded them not to tell no man. So the Lord did not publicly preach about his death and resurrection, uh, nor did he tell his disciples to go and preach that. So it brings us back to the question, what gospel did the Lord send the 12 and the 70 to go and preach if they could not preach about his death, they couldn't preach about the blood, they couldn't preach about the resurrection. It was also before the new creation or the receiving of the Holy Spirit, born again, the new creation. Okay, so they also couldn't preach about being born again because no one could be born again yet. The whole concept of born again happened after the resurrection. So this is when Jesus ascended to heaven, sent out the Holy Spirit, and now we could be born again, not just by water, but by the Holy Spirit. So no one was born again yet. There was no new creation. So all of these were subjects that the apostles or the disciples couldn't go out there and preach. The question would be, what, what did they preach then? The death, the blood, the resurrection, the whole idea of born again or the new creation, these are largely covered in Paul's epistles. So in the Bible, we have Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Then you have the Acts of the Apostles or the book of Acts. Then you go to the, all the epistles. Okay. Now the epistles largely focus on these, the death, the blood, the resurrection, the concept of born again, the new creation. And it's logical like that because that happened after the resurrection. So that's why uh, even Paul's epistles largely focuses on the new creation or the death and the resurrection of Jesus. So it brings us back to the question, what did the 12 and the 70 preach? If they could not preach these or what was covered in the epistles, Jesus specifically told them to go and preach the gospel of the kingdom of God. So what is this gospel of the kingdom and why is it that they could preach it without talking about the Lord's death his blood, his resurrection, without talking about the new creation or even the concept of being born again. 